two advocates representing controversial pastor Paul McKenzie on Wednesday, June 14, requested to recuse themselves from the case, citing aggravated threats to their safety. Reports indicated that lawyers George Kariuki and Alicia Kimura claimed that their conscience remained disturbed since taking up the case. They also faulted the state for facing challenges while trying to access their client prior to court proceedings. Lawyer Kariuki pointed out the dire situation that McKenzie went through while in custody, indicating that he slept on the floor for over 60 days. He expressed fears that the grave conditions could lead to McKenzie passing away before standing trial, following the exit of the two lawyers. The controversial pastor was left with advocate Wycliffe Marcusembo who expressed confidence that he would represent McKenzie to the bitter end. He accused the government of trying to frustrate the proceedings of the case. On Wednesday morning, June 14, Mackenzie, his wife Rhoda Mumbua, and 16 other suspects appeared at Shanzu Law Courts to determine whether their detention period would be extended. Some, however, collapsed within the court premises because their bodies were too weak. According to senior prosecution counsel Jamie Yamina, 16 of the suspects were on a 10-day hunger strike in solidarity with Pastor McKenzie. We fear that some of them will lose their lives while in custody. The rest of them went on a hunger strike 10 days ago and refused to eat or drink water. We have to address this matter now because we do not know if these people will be alive tomorrow, Yamina stated. Pastor McKenzie and his wife staged a hunger strike while in custody. Over Interior Cabinet Secretary Kitha Kindiki's remarks that the pastor would remain in prison even if the courts released him. Mackenzie will not get out of jail. He will age in it. We pray that God gives him more years to see Kenya's security prosper.